Hey everybody, welcome back. We are here with another awesome product from Glow Rhino. Um, these are the, or the, um, Axis Bar Replacement. So it's a full replacement. Here's the back of the packaging so you can look at the numbers on it. But glowrhino.com, there's a link in the description. So let's go ahead and check this one out. It is a single-sided glowing Axis Bar that'll be a replacement for this one. So if you're looking for the lanyard, dual-sided lanyard plug, which is, those are awesome, uh, check that one out. Uh, also, the glowing thumb stud, the single-sided one, you wanna check that out, see how to install it, those kind of things. Those, is, those uh, video links are in the description below. But this one is gonna be a full replacement of the stock access bar. So it is a little more entailed. Uh, we are gonna need uh, one more additional Torx. We'll have a T6 for all the body screws. And then we'll use a T10 right here, we hop it, for the pivot. So let's go ahead, let's get in. We'll put the piece up here. We also have our pivot alignment tool, which is awesome. We'll see how that works here in a little bit. So let's go ahead and take this one apart. Um, I like to loosen these a little bit. Your ones on the actual middle of the scale, you usually get the most Loctite from uh, you know what I've experienced. This one and this one get the most Loctite, um, but they're easy to take apart. Um, hashtag, you know, void your warranty. Just kidding. Benchmade's done some really cool stuff. If you do have to send it in for Life Sharp, there is a, a waiver that you can sign and send in with it. They don't like to come out. There we go. We just like to put them all together when we take them apart. So that's really cool to check out as well. Now on this one, we're just going to take off all the scale screws on one side, and then we're only going to take off part of them on the other, um, if that, because we should be able to do a full replacement just by getting this top side scale off and then getting it apart. We may have to take it apart, but we'll double check when we get to that point. So we'll go ahead and go for the pivot now, which is a T10. And we'll pop that side off. It's got some good tightness on that one as well. We're doing the build on this one. Shout out to Glow Rhino for sending these out so we can check them out. Um, and if you're not comfortable, obviously open this up prior, tape your blade with some painter's tape, those kind of things. The inside of the stock bug out scales from the 535BK-2, the CF Elite one um, with black and some kind of dark smoke gray, black backspacers. You can see your lanyard plugs installed. This will pop out. So just be, be sure that that's installed and flush, you can see the two points um, when you're doing it. Um, so let's go ahead, let's go ahead and take this one apart a little bit with, we wanna get that pivot out of there just so we can get some, some free spinning action going on everything else. Might wanna use this, be a little bit easier to use this. Push it all the way through. We'll go with that. Make sure all these tools stay in place there. Now, that way we can get the blade out real quick. Now, you know me, we'll put some slick -em all on there in the future, but our goal is just to get this out. Um, and to get to that other one, we're just gonna have to take the two sides right here off, these two screws on the clip side so we can get the rest of the liner out. And then we'll do a quick swap of the springs and the access bar. We'll get that all going. But let me know if you're gonna go for something like this uh, if you're going to do the lanyard hole tube, um, that is an awesome one. And it's a really easy install, and I would highly recommend it. And they glow terrifically. So we got that one off. Your liner's now right here. Looks like we do have a, a washer on this side. So we'll put that one back on. A little bit of lube on it, but not a lot. So we may just go ahead and wipe this all off real quick. Well, we got it apart and put some slick -em all on there because that's just how to do it properly. And then you're not gonna have any troubles with any of that stuff down the road. So let's just do it while we're here. We'll make it real simple to clean up. You can also use one of the alcohol prep pads uh, if you wanna get all the grease and all the dirt off there. These microfiber towels work wonderfully, but if you wanna do a total, total clean, you can use one of those little alcohol prep pads, which are great, um, something similar to this or you can go ahead and use just rubbing alcohol with uh, some sort of patch or swatch 
swatch or something, you know, um, to make it fun. So on this, obviously with the Omega Springs, this is kind of how they're tied in. So we'll just pop these off on each side. And then now this is gonna free, kind of free spin in there. We'll take it out through the loop there. And then obviously you can see how they go and you can see which side is which. So if you wanna do your show side, you wanna put your, obviously your fun times happening straight up because this will be your, your show side. So you wanna do it that way because that'll be in there and you know, you'll flip them around. You'll put it, you'll install it back through like this. And then once it's in, you'll come back through. Oh, I installed it upside down. That figures, that's all right. But you get what I'm saying. We'll put it in the right way. So we make sure to get our thing on there. Let's pop these off real quick. These are the elusive Omega Springs. You'll make sure both Omega Springs, they have this little tiny point on this side, those point towards the inside of your liners. And so we'll put this one up here. This is the standard stock one. This is the replacement with the Glow Rhino on it, which is pretty awesome. And then we'll go ahead and put those back through right there. Get those locked in. I like it, I like it, okay. Little looser fit than the stock, but they should work pretty good once we get them all dialed in on here. So let's give this a try. A little bit longer video with this one because you got to do almost a full disassembly, of course. And then we'll go ahead and get these installed. And then when you're putting this back together, make sure your stop pin's installed up there. And I kind of just pinch it so it leaves you with that open gap there. And then you can kind of feed one side through. I'm trying to do it on camera and also do it myself. And then I think we're gonna have the glow on the wrong side. So let's push that back through real quick. My apologies, my apologies. Get that back through. They like to hook on everything then. They're like, oh yeah, we're good, we're solid. So we wanna put them on this side. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and feed this back through this way. We'll put our access bar up through here. We'll slide it up to the top. And then we'll put our springs up in this top corner up here. Hopefully we can get it. Might need a little help. We'll try to get the back one first, maybe. Get it locked into place. Should make it easier for the top one. There we go. So they're all locked back into place. You got your glow on your show side, which is what you're looking for. And then we'll just start putting it back together a little bit. So we'll put these liners right back in here. Obviously you want to get one of them. So I always hold that one with just my index finger. And I will go back through this off camera once I get it back together and the center is on point. And I will make sure that I pull these screws back out, uh, make sure to lock tight them all because that's super important on these bug outs because there's not a lot of threads holding these together. And you want to make sure that you don't lose any of those important screws and have stuff get a little wonky so to speak on the knife. So we'll go ahead and put this other scale back on. And you can see, obviously we have all the, all the dial ups. We got the, the glowing lanyard plug. Now we have the axis bar and then we have the thumb set on this one. So this one's going to look really good. I'm going to try to get a nice little photo that I can insert into the video here. So look for that as well. And then you just want to make sure you know, once it's pushed together fully before you start tightening things down, that this is operating, has tension on it, and it does, so that's perfect. So we'll go ahead and put these in. And I always put in these front two on both sides. I'll tighten them down and then I'll back them out just a smidge because you want a little bit of looseness with your liners. So that way you can actually um, get your pivot in without too much trouble. And then we'll put these back on. And like I said, I'll go back through on all these screws and use Loctite on them. And we haven't had to pull the pocket clip off on any of these builds. Um, so those come Loctite from the factory, but you can double check their tightness. Just make sure they're good to go. And then we'll have a beautiful knife full of glowing goodies 
from our friends at Glow Rhino. And of course, we're gonna need some slick em all, so let's get the slick em all out. If you haven't seen the slick em all, OCD for EDC.com. This stuff stays in there, it doesn't dry out. It is amazing, an amazing, amazing product for any of your knives on washers, bearings, those kind of things. It is terrific. So we'll put a little bit on here, get some out here. Let's see. And this is going to hold on to your washer. We'll put a little tiny bit inside the pivot as well, or the hole for the pivot, a little bit on this back edge. Just make sure it's all slicked up. Your washers will go right on, right on top. That is terrific stuff. And we will put some on this side. There we go. And that's pretty much all you're gonna need, but I'll put a link down in the description below for that as well. It's a fantastic product. This is the tube I've been using for the last, I don't know, year and a half. Um, done a lot of builds with it as you've seen, and it's holding up very, very well. So one of the things we're gonna to wanna to do, obviously we're gonna put it on this side and you want to pull back the tension on your axis bar. I always put my finger up here because once you put it back together a little bit, the washers are going to be really tight to go in there. So you just want to make sure they fit somewhat normally. And you can see inside there, they're a little off. Another good use for your slick -em all is to dial in your washers just a little bit. So it'll help you kind of bring those on point. You can actually use those to kind of get them down, get them lined up. And this one, we get our back one down in there now. There we go. And once that's achieved and you've still got that pulled back a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and put the pivot alignment tool in there. It does have a flat spot, as you can see where it says Flytanium right there. Um, shout out to Flytanium for having an awesome product like that. And then now you can basically release your tension. Everything should work just fine. Obviously you're not gonna have the super you know, tight pivot action, but this is now your opportunity to really quick, go ahead and tighten up these screws that you left loose a little bit. And then we'll check the uh, blade and make sure we got blade centering on point. And then we'll go ahead and insert our pivot, but we'll probably leave these couple loose real quick right here, just because we don't have that pivot in yet. And that's always been my downfall is I'll tighten them up too soon like that. So you'll take your female side of the pivot, the smooth side on the clip side for me, works great. I mean, it'll work either way, but it's kind of how it's intended. And you line up flat spot to the flat spot, pull back your tension, and it should go in with ease just like that. You can put this tool off to the side. Now you can go ahead and tighten up those screws. And we'll get our pivot in there and we'll tighten the pivot all the way down and make sure that we have good blade centering. And then this one's going to be ready to hit the uh, Hit the nighttime clubs, you know, partying it up. We'll get our T10 back on there. We'll get our pivot back in. And like I said, we'll get it tightened all the way down. I will go back through even with the pivot. I will lock tight all that just to make sure it's good to go. Uh, blade centering is on point. We're good with that. So now we'll just go ahead and adjust it so we can use it a little bit. We want it to be a little smooth, but not like any blade play or anything. So yeah, it's dropping, especially with that slick em all, you'll notice after probably half a dozen times of flipping it, it's gonna get even smoother, um, terrific stuff. So we can actually tighten it up just a little bit from there, which is good. Yeah, we still have that drop shutty action, but overall now we have three points on here that are Glow rhino upgraded. You have your axis bar, your thumb stud, and your lanyard hole. So I'll go ahead, I'll put a picture in here now so you can see what it looks like with all the awesomeness. But most importantly, have an awesome rest of your day. Make sure to hashtag DSKFS, do something kind for someone. And we will see you on the next one. Take care.